Absolutely. The breweries we're talking about are not local breweries, but she's taking the beers off the shelf here at Alewife Taproom. Owner Kelly Pickard saying this is the least she could do to not support companies that have dozens of sexual harassment allegations against them. Now, this all started on Instagram with a woman who also works in the beer industry who just simply asked a question. What kind of sexism have you experienced in this industry? And the response is just poured in. So it's our responsibility to make sure that the products on our shelf are matching the own culture that we um, are trying to put out there and create in our own space. A culture of equality and inclusivity. The Me Too movement is going strong right now in the craft beer industry after Brianne Allen, a production manager at a brewery in Massachusetts, asked people online if they'd experienced sexism in the industry. Hundreds of responses poured in. Stories of sexual harassment and discrimination from places across the country. So many that a spreadsheet was created to keep track. Alewife owner Kelly Pickard says it's now her responsibility to make sure her brews align with her views. I don't think it's an issue that's limited by any means to um, the beer industry, but I think any time that you have a male-dominated industry um, and, a, and a lot of parts, um, that as women, you will encounter some level um, of, of harassment. So I think we've all knew that this was an issue, but to see it all laid out there, um, you know, I, it was undeniable um, this time. Pickard says here at Alewife, she makes sure to train every employee on how to identify sexual harassment, whether it's coming from the customer or a fellow employee, and how to stop it. In five points, Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.